What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to uh, some more standard arena action. Uh, right now, we are going to wear this shirt as a hat. Because it's the one thing Caspi has wanted for the longest time. He just keeps talking about doing a shirt as a hat. So, we're going to do it. I don't know how. But what we have here is a comfortable Me Undies, Me Undies t-shirt. Super soft. It's actually really comfortable. Handmade in Los Angeles, California, just so you guys know. And uh, I'm gonna so I'm gonna find a way to wear this shirt as a hat. And I think there's people who know how to do these things, like a lot better than I do. I don't know who they are or how they do it, but I'm going to try some tying nonsense, I guess. Maybe that'll work. I think this is actually going to, I think I could just tuck it. I think this is actually okay, right? There you go. This is, this is it. This is my shirt as a hat, guys. And now we can go over to Arena and live our lives peacefully. And let me update the deck in the de in the stream decker so you guys have a thing. I want you guys to have a thing. I'm guessing we're doing Ixalan drafts? Oh god, never. Never if I can avoid it. Um, yeah, I was uploading the deck list here, bros. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so immediately we're gonna be like, I wanna have all the, we got four breeding, four temple, four hollow. We're in good shape there. I definitely want to have all the blues. I got the blues. That's from the Kraft Mac. Is that the Kraft Macaroni and Cheese song? Because they get the because the blue box. I don't know. I just got a FedEx notification. And it's like this will be delivered by tomorrow. I'm like I don't know what it is though. I have no idea what I'm expecting from California. weird okay my donations for a rav remix draft but i'm fine well listen buddy you've been asking for this hat as a shirt for like a a month now i feel like me putting the hat in the shirt it's got to count for something right we can also do a rav remix draft can we do one tomorrow um all right so i was going to add another land I don't like forests and plains just because I don't like, well, I don't like plains specifically. Uh, I'm going to take one forest out. I'm going to add uh, another sun. I don't know how to add more. It's so sad that I have to be like, sun petal. Boo. And hinterland harbor for sure. So what is this? 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 23 land still. Probably another hinterland harbor because of the frilled mystic. Is it because they crash? I don't get it. Planes crash? Oh, I get it, because planes. I get it. This feels very weird. Um, Yeah, I'm just going to play the deck like this. We took one flower out. Uh, I also don't like... Oh, actually, we can take one Depose. Wait, this only gets basic lands? Oh, actually, I do like Depose. Okay, so we're going to take both the flowers out. We're going to add them to the other... Because it's just worse when we take out the planes. Look at this, I'm already making changes. I'm already doing it. Uh, we want gold cards, right? Maximize the gold cards. I'm also wearing a hat for a, sh a shirt for a hat now as well. Yeah, it's a trend. It's catching on. It's good to... Uh, 
you know, catch on, I guess. Copy. Open here. Okay. Um, I gotta have one card. What what card should I I add? Hmm. Planes. Okay. Well, sure. Oh. Oh god, my hat's falling. My hat as a shirt is falling. Dang it. Oh god. Oh god. I didn't think I was going to end up like this. I can't think of the last card. I think we just want a fourth Hydroid Crassus, right? Yeah, that's literally what I was thinking. That's hilarious. I'm just like, oh, I just want a fourth one of these guys. All right, now let's get in there with Jeff's Bant nonsense. So Flares is a lot in this deck. I want to maximize the one Commander Mana Cost Gold cards in Flares. Okay, that's actually, that's good to know. Then now I feel worse about changing things. We'll try the Flower Flourish after this. <gasps> I really don't like decks that have um, the four color creatures like Frilled Mystic or like uh, Night Veil Predator, but then have basics that can't cast those because every other card in the deck does. Like every other non-basic land is able to cast those cards. So it's really awkward if you have Frilled Mystic in hand and then you end up drawing like your one planes. If Incubation could get lands, dude. Oh my god. Um, yeah, this is fine. How much for a fake French accent for the rest of the stream you have the look to... Uh, I don't know how much for the fake French accent. Uh, I don't know, actually, that's a good question, but... I may have a problem doing a, an accent for the entire... The, the entire. I'm gonna keep this because we can go turn two hero. Turn three gross spiral, make a guy. And then, uh... Also try to hit a land. Actually, just having forest is totally fine. But sometimes you might just want to grab a planes is the thing, so... I don't know. Ooh, that's interesting. I think we might just double up on, pre on, on heroes here. Against the blue-green deck, I don't feel like this is going to be a problem. Yeah, man, you got it. I feel like this is just a Simic version. On my ice cream grind right now, gotta love a job where you love what you... That's actually 100% true. If you don't love what you do, quit your job and do something that you love. That's my suggestion. Wop wop. You're gonna counter this? No, you're gonna grow spiral in response. Why are you auto tapping your mana? Or you're manually tapping your mana? Shut up and take my money. Hero is definitely one of my favorite cards. One Le Francois buck. Okay. I appreciate it. I can get behind it. It does feel weird wearing this, I want to be honest with you guys. This is a hydroid crisis for like a million. Oh wow, that was a good draw. So we have lethal on board now? <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm gonna manually tap all of my lands. Main phase that, huh? That's interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do they have the counter spell? 
Keep in mind, we have not drawn a third land. So, you know. Well, I got a root snared. Oh my god, this matchup is even more uh, mentally exhausting and infuriating because they're like manually tapping their lands. Like, come on. Let's go, just cast the Hydroid Crassus, my dude. There you go. God, this oh, this manual tapping is like excruciating, dude. passing and it's still asking me to respond to opt so that's weird unless auto passing doesn't mean what they think it does <laughs> I mean, if your lands have to be tapped, then it shouldn't say auto pass, right? Like. I just assume auto pass is like F6, where I have no responses to your things.
Cool, thank you. Oh my god. Bring in Vivian Reed. Keep in the detention, guys, because I mean they're probably better than just the random one drop. Just get getting rid of a a Sphinx or uh, not a Sphinx, but a Hydroid Crassus. Jim Pimmin, 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 thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Really appreciate it. Um, I'll keep this in. Gimpy. Gimpy. Gimpy MN? Is it Gimpy MN? Okay. Okay. The eye threw me. Now we know. Sure. Sure. Okay, I was actually hoping for that so we can go hero, get rid of this guy. That seems good. They, they've been manually tapping for everything. They have manual tap on, which is kind of weird because... It's seriously only needed in like very, very few situations, I feel like. Yeah, that's definitely why it's been more painful, because I have to watch them individually tap every single land when they're casting seven mana spells. It's like, okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Look at this, here we go. Oh, I did it wrong. All right, we did it. Just gonna keep my boys up. Nothing? Fascinating. So we're gonna have blue, blue, green, green, yeah?
I said one. This hat is making my head itch. That's fine. Just replay that guy. Yeah, Swanny, the difference is, like, uh, combo decks are fine. I actually enjoy combo decks. Uh, the difference is combo decks usually win in one turn. They don't take infinite turns. Like, if I'm playing against Storm, it's going to take them three minutes, and they're going to win in one turn. And I'm going to be like, okay, you win the game. Cool. Uh, when I'm playing against Nexus... I literally have to wait 20 minutes to make sure you won or to find your win condition. And it's significantly less, it's, it's, it's just miserable. Right, like time vault plus voltaic key, it's on board. I'm like, okay, you have infinite turns. You can definitely go win the game. So, like, once you play that, I'm like, I know you have infinite turns. Whereas, like, you could whiff with the time that the the, uh, the Nexus of Fate deck. I don't know. So I guess I'm just going to hope you do. And then I just have to sit here and make sure you actually win the game. It's not a combo deck. It's just a really obnoxious control deck. There's no combo. Uh, sure. This one's fine. I mean, the thing is, like, if people are complaining about it, that means they're unhappy with it. And if they're unhappy with it, that says something, right? Like, what card do I like that I haven't seen played with yet? That is a good question. Hmm. Let me think about that. There's got to be sweet mythics, right? I was going for a renaissance. Uh, what, do they just play Grow Spiral? Sure. So we can go Grow Spiral into Land Land, right? Oh, 
hero. Oh, that's cool, dude. Now I can just find my 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 lady, my lady. Oh, can we just actually kill them with a? Uh... Oh no, that's a different one. Dang it! If that was flower flourish, I would have been super excited. Yeah, this feels like a fine ultimate here. Let's go Knight of Autumn Negate. That's what we want to see. You gonna stifle this ability? Sure. Alright. Wow, this is nice. Alright, let's get Knight of Autumn. Uh, Frilled Mystic. One, two, three, four, and probably like a Teferi, I think. Actually, Deputy seems good, right? I need a hero. You got a free mana there? I actually didn't even see that you had two. It looked like you had one up, but I guess that makes sense. Um, I want to attack anyway. It doesn't matter. I don't know why. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven. It's a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six. Dang it, we're one shy of being able to dove in and keep up Frilled Mystic. Because this, if we do, if we plus dove in here, it would actually be insane. But I really don't have a a desire to take down my Frilled Mystic shields. Sure. Although they only have like five, and that wouldn't wouldn't have done anything anyway, I guess. Yeah, we can just end the turn here. They have two cards in hand and we have a Frilled Mystic. Yeah, th this game is over. Oh, boy. Yep, that's pretty good. All right. Although we hit no lands off of that. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is 13 damage. That's pretty hilarious. I guess we can put a 1-1 counter on a guy and keep up Frilled Mystic. That's pretty nuts. Uh, they're going to use one, two. So we have blue, blue, green, green. Yeah, that's fine. Raspberry Murray. Take your stupid turns and get the hell out of here. Nobody likes you. Why don't you go manual tap somewhere else, buddy? Manual tap somewhere else. Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm gonna open this pack. Yeah, beat up that nerd. I did it. Oh, actually, let me cancel this. I wanna go Flower Flourish. Josh like Flower Flourish. He was maximized. Not in Josh, Jeff. God, these matches go so quick, I didn't even have a chance to get out of the queue. Good lord. <sighs> you 
got a whale on the cancel button. Probably. It's funny, I wonder if you're going to actually see a higher concentration of the uh, the Simic, the Nexus of Fate decks in the best of three because the, you can't play them in the best of two, so. Or the best of one, rather. I'm just saying random shit that comes out. The best of two! What is best of two? That's not even a thing that you can have. Okay. Mountain and a plains into Terramander search rest camp. This is interesting. Yeah, Knight of Ottoman main decks is probably one of my favorite things right now. Thank you. Bill Brown, what's going on, buddy? Please assure me that the hymn is not going to be printed in, in Horizons. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's no not going to be any hymns in Horizons. That seems like it would be pretty ridiculous. I can, I can pretty much, I would, I would bet that there's going to be no hymn in Horizons. That would be my guess. If they want to double block here and we don't get a guy out of it, that's totally fine. Totes fine. Shut oh, they do. My money. One pirate graybeard rank buck. That's pretty good. See, unfortunately, we would have gotten one more token if we played this before. But I'm not sure if they would have double blocked if they saw a Tefri on board. Let's skip the good part. And tomb. Exum. If they allow him, I'm playing main deck bail off the smile. Yeah, that seems good. You got it. That's old Chrisisi. Not to be confused with Kafifi. Do I just tuck this gentleman and then play a Crassus for like four? That seems good. Plus negative. Teferi's a hell of a drug. Drakes are pretty tuckable. You ever you ever tucked a Drake before? Alright, so they're playing like a bunch of Drake nonsense. Crawl Harpooner seems good. Uh, Deputy seems a little loose, just because they're going to kill it, get their guy back, draw another card. I like Ixalan's Binding, it seems like the blue red deck might not have great ways to deal with that. Vivian's seem great over probably Depose. Also, Negates are nice. Um, that feels good. I would play Flirt. Wow. Is this is how we're going to be.
and mulligan again. And... Alright, well, nothing yet, guys. Nothing yet. We need a green source. Uh, I don't think I've given an opinion on the London Mulligan. I think it's great, though. It looks good. I think it's a little scarier in older formats that have more degenerate combos that need specific cards. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, at least we got a hero here. What did, where did this blood crib come from? What on earth? Okay, well, that's a lot of glacial fortresses. That's interesting. Doesn't like asparagus. Have you ever had an asparagus, you monster? Wow, another white, another blue white land, huh? Well, see you later. Glacial fortresses of solitude. Yeah, this is Superman list. Yep, that's a good one. That's, we're having a good time. Are you guys having a good time? What, that lizard? Did you see that lizard? That dude ran around the side here. Eight, eight mana seems like a lot. For them. Uh, not gonna play this, not gonna play this, not gonna play this, not gonna play any of these things. I'm just gonna throw a spiral. Seems like a lot of lands for them. Green Mac Boogie! Kapow! What can we hit with a little incubation? Uh, do we just want infinite Crassuses here? My god. One, two, three. Now we have six mana, so we're actually in good Crassus shape. Yeah, I'm just going to take the Crassus. The Crassus. Actually, we probably just could have passed and played Assemble at the end of their turn, or, you know, whatever. You know what? Sure. No one cares about these cards. Give another piece of pie to your wife. Greenback boogie. Thank you. Xanatos, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Ten months in a row. Sorry to have been away for so long. Those shiny MPL streamers were too attractive. But glad oh my god, how dare you. How dare you. It hurts. It hurts the most. Because I love you. Uh, the only problem with shirt hat is that I feel like if I turn my head too much, it's going to just fall off. I'm just going to lose my shirt hat to the abyss.
You have four cards in hand. One, two, three, four, five. We have seven. If we cast this, we're going to draw two. So if one of them is a land, it's actually pretty cool. A greenback boogie. Did not know this was a head turning stream. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. We did not draw a land. We did, however, draw multiple gross barrels. That's rude AF. Now I'm kind of just on hero into gross spiral plan. Fiery cannonade. Sure. Whatever, dude. Whatever, dude. I mean, crawl harpooners are pretty unbeatable against them, I think. Come on, land. Oh, that's good, too. It's one, two, three. We're back at seven again. Again, if we hit a land, thumbs up. Thumbs up, seven up. Uh, why not a sure? Because I think it's better on the backside when you can assemble and make three, three guys. I don't think saving a 2-2 is, is that good. Well, that's pretty good. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8. So we can actually play Teferi. If they have a counter, though, we're taking down our Frilled Mystic Shields. We could also just play Shalai. Green, green, blue, blue. Yeah, let's make sure we go. And we'll just pass with Mystic up. I'd like to wait for one more land because then we get to play Teferi and keep up Frilled Mystic to make sure it resolves. Shiv and Fire kicked. You have two cards in hand? I mean, I'd rather just keep the Shalai around if, I, if I'm able to. Because, like, we get to activate this. That seems busted. Plus, like, none of the cards in this deck are really like, oh man, I should have countered that because we're going to lose the game on the spot, especially at 22 life. I mean, it doesn't look like they're playing any drakes. Sure. And now that we have Frilled Mystic down, we can feel free to Tefri without... Keep up the pace. Well, that's interesting. Oh, that's so sad. I mean, they have one card in a beacon bolt. I'm pretty okay. How did it take this long to put the glasses on? Oh, uh, we've been putting them on and off, though. Uh, untap. You too. Sure. Let's skip to the good part. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I guess we're just going to draw four and discard a bunch of things. Can I get a whoop, 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 whoop? Do we play land? I think, we, I think we're in the discard phase. 
Uh, let's untap you and you. We can't play anything, right? Discard two cards. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, let's go to Hollow Fountain and Forest. I mean, this just kills it, right? But you have to discard a card, so now you have one card in hand, and we have a pepper down six and a full grip. All right, well, I guess we're winning this game. I didn't put crests in because I just forgot the card existed. Well, that's a thing. Hurry! Hurry! Are you? Can you guys hurry for me? Enter tapped. We have to discard. That's fine. We can discard a temple garden. We could just be attacking with crawl harpooners, but I don't feel like they can really win if we just hold them. Yeah, at that time we probably should have assured. I actually, I'm still just stuck on the assemble line, um, which I'm going to do at the end of this turn, so... creatures. Boy, they never don't. That was the last card in your hand, huh? Uh, we're just going to resolve it. That's fine. I could tap one of our guys, see if we draw a card. Uh... Yeah, it would have just been that, so I'm kinda glad we did not. No time for a break. No one knows the why. Are we still like playing this game? That's funny. They put threats in their deck? I bet they forgot to put threats in their deck. That's so awkward. Welp. What are we, 2-0 right now? One against the obnoxious Simic deck and one against the obnoxious Drake decks? Hmm, okay, well. I feel like everyone should just be playing this deck. Okay, so we're gonna go to deck. Let's add, oh, well, okay. Let's add one planes, and then we have one forest, and we're going to take out one glacial. And probably just add one flower, I guess. I'm not a big fan of deputy. I think it's fine, but like... I also think depose is kind of, kind of meh. Um, I think it's fine. It's just a matter of, like, it dies very easily. Did you see the clip? What clip? Was there a clip? It sucks. It sucks my ass. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> well, I did now. I did now. I'll absorb with dep Deputy seems all right, actually. I like having Absorb and Frilled Mystic. That's a nice combination. Bear -der 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 -der. 
Boom, boom. Oh, Grandpa Bauda, thanks so much for the bits, buddy. Really appreciate it. I don't know what the holdup is here. They went to six? They went to five. Okay, we're figuring it out. We're playing against a big loser here, so... Did I give props to a postmodern from it? What does that even mean? What are you saying right now? I do not understand the question you're asking. I want to play this now because there's no reason for them to like be able to untap and potentially spell pierce and or negate or whatever that. Oh, I guess they just lose the game. I wonder if they thought we were playing Nexus. Like, all we saw was one land, so. Gross Barrel is a hell of a drug. I feel like Big Loser is not its not doing very well. Come on, Big Loser. You can do it. I'm gonna keep this. I think it's actually fine. One white is all we need here, but we have four lands, so we're not... Yeah, that's also helpful. Deputy? Pfft, I don't even have any white mana, nerd. <laughs> when a problem comes along, you must whip it. Now whip it. Into shape. Shape it up. I'm gonna absorb that. I have an absorb counter spell in my hand that I would like to cast on your creature spell so that it won't resolve. Okay, buddy. You got it. Yeah, if anybody donates $455, I will definitely say that you suck my ass. Seems like a fair seems like a fair deal, right? I'm gonna mystic this. Like, th it forces them to use it again next turn. And that's their turn, and we get a guy on board. Yeah, that's good. Right on schedule. You need sure. to take time out. Get a little tucky. 
Turkey, turkey. Nope. Nope, please. Go down. We need Correct, $455. With the $445 donation, that is what you get. So we can go one, two, yeah, we're just gonna play this guy. And then we have green, green, blue, blue, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> this sucks because they were probably gonna thought they're gonna we're gonna counter it, but it's like it's the same if they just take it, so it doesn't really matter. This this forces them to have the Kai's Wrath rather than uh, hoping they don't have the Kai's Wrath. So hold that thought. Hold that thought. Well, at least now we know what we're playing again. Can I get a special sound for uh, Bow Tree Fitty? Um, no. <laughs> I don't know what to, I I don't even know what to say. Hey, give you about hey, hey Loch Ness monster. Yeah, about tree fifty. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm just gonna play this tapped, I guess, and then pass because, nope, don't do that. Nope, don't like that. I guess we could have double attacked and killed the Tefri, which is probably better than not doing that. You know what? I'm not done yet. Yeah, I think that would have been better actually. So now they block here and block here, and then they don't get to do anything. I'm just gonna go to the next game here. I think. I think we're just way too far behind. But now I know what they're doing. God dang, Loch Ness Monster, I ain't giving you a treat fitty. That's a pretty classic episode. Now Vivian Reed comes in. Crawly boys come in. Deputies, deputies just rough. Negates are probably coming in. I'll take the flower, I'll take the depose out. I'll bring in two negates. Probably a third negate for incubation. I think that's probably good, right? I like that. Crawl doesn't counter Lyra? I don't know what that means. Like they fight each other, it kills a Lyra, does it not? She has first strike doesn't matter when you're fighting a thing. Do you guys not know how fighting works? <laughs> like, are you guys all trolling? I can't tell if this is just a joke that you guys are all trying to get in on. Oh, but she has first strike, so they can't fight. Uh, pretty sure it doesn't, buddy. <laughs> Death touches doesn't is not a combat-based ability. Fight first strike is a combat-based ability. It has to do with when you're in combat. Death touch does not. Those are two completely different abilities. Guys, I don't want to I don't want to bring it up in this in this awkward position, but I've top aided a pro tour. I'm pretty sure I know how first strike works. uses fight in a top eight. That's fair. That's a fair point. If one creature has flying and the other doesn't, they cannot fight each other because the one without flying can't reach the one that flies. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh man, that's <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. Oh boy. Oh, I'm trying to fight you, but you're a little too high. <laughs> Oh lord, that's good times, man. I don't ever have a problem with people not knowing things. I have a problem with me telling you that that's not how it works, and then everyone being like, yes it is. And I'm like, okay, but yeah, you're wrong. And they're like, no, I'm not. And I'm like, no, you really are. You Shut actually up. don't Take have the morning. information. And, uh... You're 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 making like you do, you know. What's the um? What's the term for it? What's the term? I can't think of the um. I can't think of the name of it, where it's like people are are are, they believe they're an expert in a field that they're not. What's the what's the term for that? Crooning Dunner. It's the Crooning Dunner Syndrome. Yes. Yes. It's the Crooning Dunner Effect, I think. Dunner Kr Kruger? Dunner Kruger? Say this is why, because of the names. Yes, yeah, Dunning Kruger Effect. That is correct. In the field of psychology, the Dunning Kruger Effect is a cognitive bias in which people of low ability have illusory superiority and mistakenly assess their cognitive ability as greater than it is. Um, not, to, not to say anyone in the chat has. Uh, uh, low ability. That's not what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say it's just funny that uh, people are like, no, no, buddy. I know what I'm talking about. I'm a <laughs> are you actually a Navy SEAL? That would be amazing. I'd be really impressed. Yeah, it's, it's, there's a Dunning-Kruger effect and a Freddy Kruger effect. One of them only takes place in Nightmares. Yep, I'm just gonna concede this game because we have two lands. And I got better things to do with my time. Nah, man, there's a few hundred people here. There's there for sure a few idiots in chat. <laughs> oh, I thought you were a Navy SEAL. I was really, Zach, I was really hoping you were a Navy SEAL. Oh, but either way, you're a vet. That's pretty sweet, man. Really appreciate your uh, your service, buddy. I know that's a thing all, people just say a lot, but I, it's definitely true. Thank you for for, for doing it. Is the Freddy Krueger effect when somebody appears in your dream and thinks they know everything? Uh, the Freddy Krueger effect is when uh, a bunch of teenagers enter the dream realm and they don't believe in Freddy Krueger. And so... Wait, wouldn't that just... That would, that would probably transport them out of the dream world because Freddy is only a threat when you believe he's a threat, right? Can you have Dunning-Kruger imposter syndrome effect? Because... <laughs> because... Uh, this guy right here. I'm gonna keep this hand. I think it's okay. Trust me, I also have imposter syndrome. We all do. We're all just trying to make it. Hey guys, we're playing against our favorite deck. Hey guys, we didn't hit a third land again. How, how fun. The knife really completes the pirate look. What about, what if I have like... Is that... Does that do what you needed? Does that do, does that... Oh my god, look at this. I want you to look right now what we're doing. Well, I guess we'll take this gentleman. <laughs> it's so menacing. Yeah, you guys, uh, if you guys tuned out of the stream, I understand. Yeah, might as well just use this one again. Um, this guy, I'll take this guy for the long term. Got mugged in Seattle last week. Dude looked, looked just like me. Oh my god, what is this clip? <laughs> That's 
Solid. Solid clip. <laughs> that's a good man. I feel like that's I feel like my contribution to people to, to future gen to future civilizations to alien races that come visit our planet. I feel like my contribution to these 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 beings it's unparalleled, man. You guys are lucky. They're lucky. They're lucky. Cuz they're going to find these clips, this content, these videos. God, it's going to just it's eye-opening. I'm I'm jealous. It's like when someone hasn't seen Breaking Bad and like you, they get to watch Breaking Bad for the first time and you're like, "Man, that's a, man, I'm so lucky for you. It's so lucky for you to get to watch Breaking Bad for the first time. That's how I feel about these civilizations, these alien races of people that are going to come to our planet in the future one day. And, uh, you know, we, they get to, they get to experience it all, you know, and God, good for them, you know, good for them. Way to go. Way to go, aliens. You really did the deed. Well, I'll sacrifice my storm to- oh, I see, you're gonna dive down instead. I'm gonna cancel- I'm gonna concede this game because this is also one of my least favorite decks in standard. Oh, the old, uh, the old asterisk 9.36 plus minus. That's actually a classic. That is a classic. I want to be honest, I don't like Depose Deploy in this deck. It just doesn't, I don't feel like it does anything. I want to bring in Crawly Boys. Oh, Crawly Boys. I'm going to take out Dovins. I don't think they're great. I'm going to take out One Knight. I'm going to bring in Two Settle Zerekage. Um, Deputy's probably pretty good, actually, because it doesn't really die to much here. I'm going to take out the Assure, actually. That doesn't seem great. Bring in... Vivian Ritos? Vivian Greedo? So no one told you life was gonna be this way. That's from Friends. Oh, Mulligan again. You know what? I'll keep this hand. I'll keep that too. Your job's a joke, you broke. What are the difference between three Magic games? Magic Online, Magic Arena, and Magic Duels? Magic Duels doesn't exist anymore. Magic Online is uh, more of like a Magic Paper simulator. Where you get to play whatever formats you want. And Magic Arena is what we're playing right now. Your love life's DOA. It's like you're always stuck in the second gear. When I have this crawl harpooner and I kill your storm tamer. I'll be there. They have to have dive down, which is sure. Oh, that's actually nice because we can still get the curious obsession. If they waited for us to target this guy, then we wouldn't be able to hit anything. <laughs> it can't fight. <laughs> God, did you learn nothing from our conversation? Don't you guys know how things work? Crawl Harpooner's a joke, you broke. I'm gonna fight your dude. Oh no. What a retort. If it was a Zora stream, I'd be biting the knife like this, like one of these jobbies. Oh god, it hurts my teeth. Oh god. Oh! Oh god, biting down a metal. It just does not... It's not... It's not... It's not good. <laughs> oh, that's old Frankie Soft Teeth, you know. Come on, everybody knows Frankie Soft Teeth. Okay, just retort all my things, I guess. This match is retorted. It's, uh... 
They don't get this back, right? No, okay. That is more pirate, I think. Don't do that. This is a Zoro stream. Oh, you that's fair. That's my bad. Mmm, that's my bad. Uh, I guess we'll just try to play this. God, they never run out of dive downs, do they? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Frankie Soft Teeth is my is my mafia name, right? Hey, it's a Frankie Soft Teeth. Oh, what are you gonna do, huh? Sure. Congratulations on your on your game. I'll say no attacks. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh good. So now I have to have another tier removal spells. Fantastic. This is also one of my favorite cards in the game. Yep. That's good. good. Oh land. How nice. It doesn't matter. We're dead anyway. You got two unblockable guys. Yep. That's fun. That's a fun deck. If a creature has menace when it fights, you have to tag them with another creature. Yeah, you gotta block it with. You gotta fight with two creatures. I think Bill Brown is actually joking. You love life's DOA. Jesus. What happens if a creature with flying bands with a creature that has flying before it fights? Oh, Jesus. I think the space-time continuum collapses uh, at that point. Memeing in my chat? It's more common than you think. Eh, I mulligan because there's no green. I'm going to keep this one. Oh, God. Can a creature without horsemanship fight a creature with horsemanship? It's hard to say, man. Who knows how horses work? Not me, that's for sure. Uh, any keywords you want to see? Fading, phasing, and threshold. Uh, fading and phasing are just the same things, right? They just mean like, hey, both of these are gonna go to, gonna go away after a certain time. Are we dead to this swift blade indicator? Does Bushido save a creature when it's fighting? No, it does not. I like how this is just a fighting stream. Okay, well. How do you fight a creature with shroud? You actually don't. That is the thing you actually don't do. What in the earth is happening right now? I am not a fan of anything that's going on right now. I don't know how to deal with this. I'm not prepared. Arabian night, like Arabian days. Wish I had hit lands. I had some land drops. And now I don't have them. I guess we're taking eight from this thing and then they're just gonna skewer the critics our face. Oh boy. Hit me with you. Oh wow, we have deputy. We hit a deputy off this and we're gonna actually. Uh... Oh, we got a two though, so that's great. So then the, the guy gets flying. That's pretty cool. So literally, we just don't get to. Like, if they didn't have Triumph of Gerard, we'd actually be able to stabilize here. Welp. Well, I guess it is us who are the 
foes, sure. I'm just not a, <laughs> I'm just not a big incubation fan, to be honest with you. Bring in some settle the crackage. What does that even Thank mean? You. I don't know. Higgins, thank you so much for the reset. Welcome back, buddy. Six months in a row. That is a good amount of time. That is a good amount of time. Ixalan's binding. Bring in a Vivian. Actually, Lyra seems great here. I like a Lyra. What's this deck going to be doing? What's this deck going to do against a Lyra? Nothing. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. You like this song I'm singing, guys? I know you do. I'll keep this hand. Anyone green. I didn't ask me, but Aladdin is probably my favorite Disney classic anime movie. I'm actually optimistic about the live action movie. I'm interested to see Will Smith's take on the genie. And you just can't beat that soundtrack. And What if it's not the same soundtrack? What if it's a different, a totally different movie? Yeah. We hit that land, boy. life here and then we're gonna just pass oh god cancel attacks cancel attacks abort oh, I'm gonna be honest with you I would rather see a Terry Crews will uh, a genie than a Will Smith genie and I like Will Smith Come on, blue source. Or green source. Green source. Green source. It's not a land at all. Hooray. Sorry, what is this? Wow. Oh, look, I found the green source. I found the green source in my decums. If there's another land, we can play Night of Autumn. Of course there was not. Alright. Welp. Block you. Block you. That guy can't be blocked, huh? Okay. So, double block this guy. Nope, that doesn't work right. Hmm. I want this guy here. Do I just trade my board off? Yeah, that seems fine. They have two cards. Okay. God. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, perfect. Ugh. 
Bill Brown, you will have to see in the upcoming article. I will definitely post it on. I mean, it, it's it wasn't really a poll. I just wanted to get ideas. Okay, so we can go hero into guy. I don't know how you beat this, I'll be honest with you. Uh, those are two separate articles. <clears throat> My friend Grim, he works, he owns a store in California called Collector's Legion. They're a pretty sweet store. And um, he was like, he actually has uh, some articles that go up on his page. So he was, he asked me to write like an article a month for him. And I was like, yeah, sure, I'll do that. Chance for glory, huh? Okay. So I'll block here, and we'll chump block here, and take four. Okay, now we have two blockers and you have two guys next turn. So unless this is a... Ah, alright, that should, that should do it. Contact runs you put on both? How do you mean? Well, first off, like, when you write articles for sites, you usually don't have contracts. Um, This deck is aggressive. Oh, yeah, for sure. I would never send... I would never send an article to get published by two different sites. That That is not... Yeah, that's like that's some sh that's some, that's pretty shady. Because you're double dipping, you're basically getting credit for two sites for the same article. Yeah, it turns out Lyra's pretty good. Into knight is pretty good. We can also kill this if we don't. So they go second guy, we go hero. They go third guy, we go knight. Yeah, that should work. It's like if two separate companies hired me to make a movie, right? And then I make one movie and I just send it to both of them, right? Like, I mean, there's got to be a word for that. Like, there's got to be a, a specific term for that, right? Because it almost seems like fraud. Hybrid battery car problems is correct, but I mean we got it. We got it taken care of. It just cost me about eleven hundred bucks. So, yep. Of course you have the legendary guy. No, well, I'm not taking eight here. So, oh wait, they got the indestructible. Yeah, fuck, nice. So fantastic. Oh, Dublin movies up on them. That's actually. Uh, also known as DMUOE. Uh, it's a classic term in the biz. It's a biz industry term. You guys probably don't know about it. Yeah, I'm just going to scoop here. Um, Maybe not. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I mean, we got a turn to try to hit, like, settle, so. 
Yeah, but the thing is with the Armageddon and Deep Impact is those were both made by different people, you know? They just have, like, it's like, that's like me and, like, Brad Nelson writing at the same... Oh, this is actually a lot of damage. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we go to 3, and I guess we just kind of hope that they don't have anything. To meow, you say. What's the sound a little man makes? <laughs> oh, Lord. Settle the wreckage off the top, too. Enter tapped. And that's not a subtle wreckage. Nor is it a fifth land, so we can go hero into knight, and we'll go up to seven, we'll have three blockers. That would be good. But alas. Not meant to be. Not meant to be. You like this hat as a shirt? I'm, this shirt as a hat I'm wearing? Alright, let's give it one more shot. We'll see how we see how we do, and then I'm going to go eat some food. And then I'm going to go eat dinner. This, this is a keeper. Let's see that hat as a shirt version. <laughs> uh, do you have any plans on Commander Stream? Uh, maybe tomorrow. Uh, let's try for tomorrow. We'll see if me and Mike want to do one tomorrow. No fourth land incoming. Why is this? This is seriously obnoxious. Will either be a tragedy or comedy of errors. How close are you to Astero? I actually don't even know where Astero is. So that close. That's how close I am. talking only one blue though so you can counter this I got a frilled mystic buddy oh watch me frilled mystic my life away blue three hundred dollars and have all rare lands and plimp furniture there I hear you I guess we're gonna take a frilled mystic even though we have two in hand and now we'll just go deputy here oh actually we could play night of autumn i don't play night of autumn and kill the wild the wilderness reclamation underground seas on mtg are pretty pretty cheap Got him. 
Got him. Back up to three. Can't even get, get wrecked. Are they going to nexus a fate us? I don't know. Hard to say. Let's see if you have all the counter spells in the world. They always do. They never don't have it. Do 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 do. Never don't have counter spells. They never don't have counter spells. Never don't have a counter spell. Do 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 do. The counter spell song. Oh, I'm going to tap all my lands in response to my Wilderness Reclamation trigger because this lets me cast my Nexus of Fate and then I get to use all my mana for other things so I get to play multiple Nexuses of Faints. Uh, look how much mana I'm floating into my mana pool. Do you see how much mana I have? Because my Wilderness Reclamation lets me untap my lands so that I can tap them with the trigger on the stack and then tap them again. Do you even understand? It's amazing. <laughs> Feels like it's something like that, right? It's the small things that matter. That matter. I mean, we're just so we're we're really outclassed here, unfortunately. Fight doesn't work on lands. That's true. It's awkwardly true. Sure. Yep. This is what it, this is what it feels like to be done. I'm so done with Wilderness Reclamation. Like Wilderness Reclamation makes me not want to play standard. I don't even care about Nexus of Fate. If you're not able to if you're able to play Nexus of Fate on turn seven and you're not untapping all your lands and playing something else or as search for searching for his Kanta or drawing like four cards like that's fine because you're playing fair magic and you're doing one thing instead of like 10 things Reclamation is basically a time walk every turn, yes. It lets you play your spells during your turn and then untap your lands and play your other spells during your end step or do abilities like uh, searching for Ascanta or explosioning for 10, 10 damage, adding 14 mana on turn 7. Like, it's just stupid. keeps I agree I think the deck is still playable with with without uh, wilderness reclamation you just get to play it more fairly like you're basically just doing normal things and be like hey I get to take an extra turn let me attack you again hey I'll take an extra turn let me attack you again like you have to naturally draw your your nexus of fate Rather than being able to draw them and play them in the same exact turn, which is just ridiculous. See, this is what I don't like is because this costs a white or a blue, these cost white, or a green and a blue, this costs green blue. So, like, there's no real way to cast any of these off of the planes. Yeah, okay. Well, land is cool. The number of turns I've just missed land drops is actually, un it's pretty unbelievable. Can we do anything with this? Not really. I'm not going to incubation incongruity here. P 
planes is definitely the worst card in the deck. I agree with you. Especially because we drew a Frilled Mystic, which also doesn't care about a planes. I'm actually just going to pass here and keep up. Really, boy. Nexus was a thing. Well, yes, it was a card. I don't know what you mean by it was a thing. It wasn't. It definitely wasn't this. It wasn't this oppressive deck for sure. Like having four Nexus in your deck when you only get seven mana a turn, not fourteen or twenty-one, is not. It's not the same at all. Jiggity Jaws, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Good old-fashioned land battle going on here. Yeah, except we don't get the lands. I took two there, huh? Needed that eight mana, I guess. Do they just have two of these? So I counter this. Sure, I'm just done. I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm like, I don't even have the patience for it, unfortunately. Like, I just don't even care. <laughs> so it's just not fun to play against. You're not interacting with them. Like, they're allowing you to do things uh, when they have, like, two, three times as much mana as you do. Because there's so many rewards. Like, there's there's Explosion Expansion, there's Nexus of Fate, there's an Activated Descanto. Like, there's so many rewards for having that much mana um, that it's like, even if you counter it, they're just like, okay, well, I'll just find another one. Anyway. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch, on Patreon, on Mana Traders. You can use the, the promo code and the link below to get 20% off your first three months of a rental or a subscription service, which definitely helps me out. And you can also use it at meundies.com slash franklapore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. And you can use code frank5 at coolstuffinc.com and you'll get 5% off your order. So definitely check out any of those if you're in the market for new clothing, if you're in the market for magic cards, or if you're magic for in the market for rental services, either physical or paper. So definitely check those out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please slam those like and subscribe buttons and I'll see you next time.